this before with guys who are making their major league debut. What's the most important message you can tell a young man? Okay, look, we, we don't want him, you know, he's he's done really well, you know, in AAA. Uh, you know, I talked to him today a little bit about, you know, his routine and uh, stick with his routine and really just be where your feet are and have fun with it. I mean, um, he's going to have a good career, you know, so he's just got to learn how to, how to adjust a little bit up here and, um, you know, but just go out there and have fun with the other boys. I mean, he understands that, you know, uh, we've been waiting a while to have him. So um, we're glad he's here and his team has the psych. So uh, just go out there and play the game. Hey, we, we, you know, we felt like he could give us a little boost in our offense. Man, you know, we, we were struggling scoring some runs, and um, I think his bat will definitely help us. Um, but we felt like he was ready. I mean, he, he checked all the boxes down there. Um, you know, so we're going to have some growing pains, just like we do with all of them. Um, but we felt like he was ready. You made a lot of hits in spring training. Was there a moment in spring, spring training where you thought okay, he, he might be up this year as opposed to next year? Um, I, I thought he'd be up here this year. I didn't know when. Um, but he was uh, progressing really well. He really was. I mean, I saw him in spring training. He, felt, he faced some big league pitchers. Even though it was spring training, he held himself well. Uh, the biggest thing for me offensively is to accept his walks. You know, he's got, got to accept his walks. And um, if he does that, he's going to do fine. You made your debut once as a player. What is the state what is like? Stay like? What, what, is what is he feeling right now? Um, I should be a little nervous, but, you know, but I played for 17 years and I was nervous every day. So, um, but that's part of the game, you know. But um, he's got, man. He, you know, we talk about Mitchell Parker having no heartbeat. He's kind of that way too, you know. He kind of he slows everything down. He understands he needs to be where his feet are. Um, so I love him. I, I guess you guys talked to him today. Um, he's very quiet. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's very quiet. So, um, but that's how he is. Maybe kind of led me into this question. How do you know when, he, when he's excited, when he's nervous? How do you actually know? Hey, I love, I love the way I, I know that he's going to go out there and play hard for us. That's what I know. So uh, I'm excited to be here with him. I'm excited to help him as much as I possibly can. Uh, but he's definitely going to help our team. You mentioned uh, the line of the line of the How do you balance that with not trying to put too much on his shoulders right from the get-go? I'm not putting anything on his shoulders. Just fit right in, right? I mean, I told him, hey, today he'll bat sixth. Who knows where he'll bat against a righty. Um, but I just want him just to blend in. Uh, don't be the guy, just be a guy. Yeah. How are you going to determine where he plays defensively? He's going to play left field. Yeah, we want to play left field. We're going to, you know, I know Parr was out there with him earlier hitting balls, um, but for right now he's going to play left field. Danny, how cool is it for the fans to have him, and for James himself, to be a hometown guy making his debut for the hometown team? Uh, you know, today I, I might be a fan. Um, I'm really excited about it. I really am. So, uh, But he's one of, of, of many that are going to come up, so we're excited about that. You mentioned he's a quiet kid. Yeah. He's going to have the spotlight. Have spotlight a little bit for the first couple of weeks here. How do you think he's going to handle that? He's, he's, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I mean, you, know, you think about it, he's had the spotlight for a while now. Um, you know, you, talk, you look at ESPN, you look at all the polls. Um, he, he's in top 10 in prospects, so he, he understands, you know, what, what comes with, with uh, him playing here. So, um, like I said, my job is to kind of uh, get him through it and help him help him understand you know what we're trying to do what he's supposed to do and go from there. If this works, David, he is a face with the franchise soon. May not be this year, but soon. Yeah, you know what? We got an, we, we got another kid here that's done pretty well, and he's he's only going to get better in CJ. So yes. uh, having those two guys are definitely exciting. Having these other guys that are co going to come up soon is exciting. I don't want him to feel like he's the face of anything. I just want him to go play baseball. With, with the young guys, though, the Mackenzie, too, obviously part of that, and Cruz and some of the guys in the minors. Does it feel like this thing is really reaching critical mass in terms of what you guys are hoping to we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Like I said, is um, this is just one of, of many guys we feel like is going to help us you know, at the major league level. Um, but we're really excited about the future and what 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 James Wood and everybody else will bring. What is the toughest transition from minors? To the base. You know, it's right today. It's just going to be all about his nerves and how he calms his nerves down. The game's fast up here. It really is. So, um, as you know, it magnifies when something happens. Um, I tell him, hey, don't worry about making mistakes. Uh, let's worry about the positives and, and focus on the positives. Did he get a hamstring injury last month? I know he's back a little bit. Are there any limitations on him, or is he all good to go to play? He's good. You know, we're going to keep an eye on everything. Um, you know, we do a lot of different things to measure his strength and everything. So. Um, Look, there's going to be days where, you know, he's going to need a day off. And, uh, I'll, you know, I'll talk to him about it, and I'll, I'll make sure that he gets that day. Maybe you uh, played with a lot of great players with a lot of great swings. Does this swing remind you of anybody that you've played with or seen? Uh, no, um, not yet. I mean, I, I haven't played with very many guys that are six, seven. So um, Frank, I think, was the only one. But um, he's he, he's got a nice swing. He really does have a nice swing. What sort of benchmarks did he show you in AAA that's 
told you he was ready now? You know, like I said, he, he started, you know, we talked to him a lot about accepting his walks, about uh, facing left-handed pitchers, um, and he did really well. I mean, he, he accepted his walks. Uh, he got better facing left-handed pitchers. You know, we'll find out today, too. We've got, we got hit lefty today. I think another one tomorrow. Um, so, but, um, you know, and he, he was playing the game the right way. So we felt like this was the time. I know you guys were hoping that Eddie Rosario would kind of get it going more consistently. How disappointing was it that that just didn't happen? Right? You know, it's, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not going to say he was disappointing because he was a tremendous guy. And I hope that, you know, there's another team out there that gives him another shot. You know, just like it does, just didn't work out here for him. Uh, but you know his track record. He's been, re he's been really good for, for Atlanta for a lot of years. Um, so I wish him well. That was, you know, that was that was very important. And from day one, you know, I, I spoke with them about about hey, just making sure you, you know, you have a different approach with two strikes and make sure you use the whole field. You, you know, he's he's going to hit you know, home runs. I really believe that, you know, but he can hit them anywhere. I mean, you know, left center fields where, you know, he jolts the ball a little bit. So um, I just wanted him to understand, hey, if they if they're going to walk you. Take your walks. I mean, I mean, he's a guy that can do some damage too on the bases for us. So, um, so he, when he started accepting that um, and cut down his strikeouts, it, w it was awesome. Was this able to direction your franchise that three of those pillars are out in the field playing together tonight? Yeah, but we also got you know, we also got Young and we got you know Lane and we got K Bear. So, um, you know, we're, like I said, we're excited. I'm excited about this club. I really am, and where it's going. <laughs> Always. What do you want James to appreciate the most about tonight? Hey, just take it, take it all in. I mean, there's going to be some unbelievable fans cheering for him. So, and 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 his teammates and everybody else. So, just just take it all in and go out there and play baseball. Help us win. Help us win today. <laughs> Mackenzie pitches tonight. I think his ERA in June was over five. What do you hope he bounces? What gives you cause for confidence that he'll bounce back to Mackenzie from? Yeah, he's be, he'll be he'll be just fine. You know, he's um. You know, he, he's got to understand, you know, when he gets in these moments, some of these big moments, just like I said, be where your feet, feet are, you know, less, lessen, the, lessen the pain when uh, guys get on base. So um, he was good. He's been good. Um, hopefully he goes out there and gives us the things we need today. David, the uh, strides the organization's made in the player development and the apparatus surrounding that the last couple of years, how, how big was that with the being able to get James and CJ and all these guys here and, and the guys that are still percolating down no, there. It was, it was, man, you know, I give Mike Rizzo a lot of credit and his team up there in the front office to see these players, scout these players, and be able to make these tr kind of trades that we need, you know, to, to develop these guys and get them up to the major leagues. They've done a great job. So, um, you know, we feel like we, we got, like, not only James Wood, but we got a, a lot of other young players um, that's coming, you know, Susanna, who, uh, who's going to be, be really good. You know, we got him in the trade also, you know, with, uh, for Juan. Um, so, you know, we're, like I said, we're very excited about what's going to transpire here uh, for many years. So, um, you know, this is only the beginning. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.